I know it's a lot easier to tell yourself you can't, but the minute you start saying you can and you get that proper support system around you that can help bring you up, uh, you can really do anything. My name is Madison Miller and I'm studying my PhD at the University of Wolverhampton. And my project is focusing on a creative practice in soundscapes, which is a form of music. So what I'm doing is I'm creating, um, I'm creating an artificial soundscape, an artificial environment to help provoke positive feelings. And when I say that, my definition of positive feelings would be things that help reduce stress, whether that's relaxation, helping you sleep, helping you focus, et cetera. So my primary goal at the end of my project is to see whether or not my music can help others. And then I get their feedback using a hashtag called core opulence on social media. And based off of their feedback or how they get in touch with me, they become co-creators in the process. And so I can adjust my music and how I edit based off of what I'm getting from based off of the responses I'm getting from others. And so towards the end of the project, I'm hoping to have like this morph of a soundscape that's not only something I created, but others helped me create to help provoke the best positive responses as possible. This PhD is an extension of myself. It's entirely who I am and it's all the foundations of my life have brought me to this point. So when I was struggling 10 years ago during my undergrad with not knowing how to cope with my reality, et cetera, and the minute I started meditating and being introduced to different ways of calming down and really taking time for myself, um, it just changed my life path. And that's how I ended up moving from America to England, pursuing my master's degree and now my PhD. Um, so ultimately... I see the benefits of all of this, and my goal is just to research it, prove that it can be helpful, and then help the world, <laughs> just help others. I would say some tips for people who are interested in pursuing a PhD would be to understand that doubt that you have is going to exist, whether that's through the application process or even during the course of your research. Imposter syndrome is real, and I definitely experience it. I'm part of the Royal Music Association, and so I'm surrounded by students who are doing really interesting work. And I don't know how to read music at all. I don't know how to read notes. And so I feel like I'm inadequate sometimes because of that. But I have to remind myself that there are all these different facets of music, and I'm doing more of the theory-based research. So I don't need to really know the technical information or the technical terms in order to pursue what I want to pursue. So if you're looking to do a PhD, um, it just needs to be something that you're also passionate about and something that you're, you know you're capable of doing. I know it's a lot easier to tell yourself you can't, but the minute you start saying you can and you get that proper support system around you that can help bring you up, uh, you can really do anything. So as a mature student or even a PhD student, um, typically it's really hard to make friends. Just, I think it's older age, it's really hard to make friends. But then again, you're also not restricted to going to classes every day. In December of, yeah, it was December of 2019, I had two students approach me and they were really interested in creating a society specifically for postgraduate researchers at the University of Wolverhampton. And so we were able to come together and create the Doctoral Student Society. And so the goal of the society is just to create a social space, an informal social space for postgraduate researchers. Right now we run a successful wine night and basically just drink wine on camera and hang out with people. And then we also do an academic thing where we have a study group as well. So you come with the goals of what you want to achieve during the study group. Everyone's quiet. But we're all studying together, and then at the end, we say whether we achieved our goals or not. Um, I would say we have about 70-plus members right now, and we did win Society of the Year in 2020, so we're doing really well. Um, it's kind of unfortunate that PGRs are often overlooked at universities. It's not that we don't want to do these things. It's that we feel excluded sometimes, and so... Um, that's just one of my goals with the Doctoral Student Society was just to create a, a sense of community for us.